Joffrey, Renly, Rob Stark, they're all thieves. They'll bend the knee or I'll destroy them. Hello everyone and welcome back to This Is Dale with me, Grand Mr. Stitch, for the start of a brand new series. Now I did say when I started the house shell playthrough that soon a Carl Drogo series would be following suit to go alongside it and I am finally starting it. So we're going to be playing as Carl Drogo shortly before he dies so that we're still alive. We're obviously married to Daenerys by this point and she is also pregnant. Viserys is dead and we are going to try and achieve what Drogo and Daenerys' plan obviously was before he unfortunately or fortunately for most of the East passed away. So we're going to try and unite the Dothraki Sea and become the great Carl of Carls before moving westward to crush the free cities and then try and press Daenerys' claim upon the Iron Throne. To kill the Iron Men in their stone houses. Or we will um, do it as Drogo and Daenerys' son. If we do not get to press that claim in time before Drogo or Daenerys die. So yes, here we are as Carl Drogo of the Dothraki. Now I will pre-warn you guys. I don't know if I will frustrate you. As I've not really played much as Nomads in the base vanilla game of CK2 or Game of Thrones. So... There may be a bit of a learning curve for me as we're going through this, but I'm, I'm sure I'll get through it, especially with your guys' help as well. We'll see how we go. I think I'll understand most of the basics, so we'll see. But here we are as Carl Drogo of the Dothraki, 30 years old. A brilliant commander, cavalry leader, aggressive leader, a trickster, a holy warrior, and an organizer. Wow, he's got a lot of commanding traits, as well as strong, a formidable fighter, authoritative, rough, brave, and ruthless. 23 Marshall. Now, I know, like I said, I didn't I haven't played much as a nomad, but I do know that to become the Carl of Carls, I think you do need at least 10 diplomacy. So that is going to be the only reason that we're going to go for the carousing focus because we've got a high enough marshal as it is, but we're going to need that 10 diplomacy, I'm pretty sure anyway, to become the Carl of Carls. As our focus, we'll go with have a son for now, as obviously we want to have that son. Who are our kills? I'm guessing ones. Yes, Viserys, Ogo, son of Temo, was uh, slain by Cold Drogo in the Dothraki personal combat, and so was Fogo, son of Ogo. Is that the one in the show where he rips his throat out? But obviously it's slightly different in the books. And then obviously we're married to Daenerys, who is only 14 at this time. Let's give her a focus of diplomatic education, as that is her best trait. She's quick, attractive, trusting, temperate, and authoritative. So we've got 3,750 starting troops, who are obviously all going to be mounted cavalry. Yeah, 3,000 light cavalry and 750 um Horse archers. Right, let's have a look what else we can do here. So we can create the High Lordship of Vastofrak and the High Lordship of the Southern Steppe. So we'll go for both of those, which will gain us prestige, of course. So there we go. Got a lot that we have to crack on with straight away. We've got loads of um, council positions and such that we need to make. So let's have a look. We've got our Karl Ataki, who is obviously our Hand of the King. Have we got anyone better than you? Not really. So we'll get you to um, oversee camps for now. We've got our Astalak attack. Our diplomat, okay. Uh, do we have anyone better than you? Because that is pathetic diplomacy. Diploma We've got Jogo, who's slightly better, and 16. But he's a commander. Who, what are you actually good at? You're not very good at anything either. So yeah, we'll go with Jogo then, whoever he is, and we'll get you to... Hmm, send your, okay, we could improve you to, in, uh, send you to improve our clan's esteem in the eyes of another clan. Improved it, yeah, so let's do that and we'll send you to the south here. Aren't these some of our, yeah, they're right, part of our clan anyway. Then our Romo, who is our master at arms, or Dothraki Ataki, uh, we'll get you to just train the warriors for now in our capital. We'll get you to build our legend our steward um our spy master i don't really know what to do with you i can't see us doing much spying let's just build a spy network down in marine just to keep an eye on the free cities and what they're doing we need a colac or what's going to be our mesa obviously we're not going to have one of those and then our shaman will get you to build zeal in our capital as well minor titles our designated regent who have we got that we can trust the most um he oh he's one of our blood riders yep so we can trust him master of the horse let's have a look what else we've got um our blood rider yet again we've got one of our 
other clansmen, so we'll go for one of those. Lord Speaker, let's go for someone with a decent diploma set. You'll do at the top. Our champion, who is our best fighter, Pono, of the Pono clans, is a skilled fighter. Yep, so he's the best one there, so we'll go for him. Master of the Blade, let's go for someone else who's a decent fighter. Doesn't really look like there is many that are above trained fighter um this guy is a holy warrior and brawner even though he's old romo but we'll go for him master of the bow uh we'll go for you of the jogo clan just to try and keep some of our clan leaders um on side court tutor i don't think we really have anyone with good learning okay we have you um our shaman who's a mastermind scholar interesting yes yeah? so we'll go for you and then we've got all our commanders here are these really the best commandos we have to offer okay we've got Carfo, who's a blood rider who's slightly better than him okay so we've not really got the most impressive commanders but so we'll just leave them as they are for now we'll soon get some better ones though once we obviously start expanding yep title loss of succession we know about that anyway so that's most of that sorted or our council apart from our core position which we won't have our military, as I said, we've got 3,750, but we can improve that. It's a different way of doing it. We um, improve the horde instead, don't we? So that we improve it once we um, have prestige to spend, or some of it costs coin instead. So the first two here for 25 prestige, we can get 225 light cavalry and some horse archers. And we've got... Uh, how much prestige do we have? 450. We've got quite a decent amount of prestige. And I'm guessing it's going to be very, very easy to gain prestige as well as Carl Drogo, as well as gold. So we'll spend what we can to start with and just build up our horde a little bit more. So what we've we got here, 25 coins or 25 prestige. We're sitting we've got a lot more prestige. We'll spend our prestige and it's going to be pretty easy to gain that prestige as well. So let's just spend as much prestige as the game's going to allow us for now. There we go, which gives us a much bigger horde now of over 5,000 men. We will leave the center as Drogo, of course. Right, so let's have a look where we can begin. What can we go to war with? Can we go to war with... Oh, no, he's not the high, Carl. So we've got you here. You're not um, connected to us at all, are you? Know? We can declare war on this character. Invade... Krajahak Jasso. I'm really sorry about some of this pronunciation. So, yep, that is a horde that doesn't belong to us and we're not allied with them, so we could take that. What else have we got here? The Northern Step. Was we allied with the Northern Step? Yes, so uh, we're an ally with them, so we can't attack those. I think, to be honest, the best bet for us is to go for this one. Then we've taken everything on. It's the Bone Mountains, isn't it, here, with the Jogus Knight on the opposite side. So if we go for that, then we've got everything on this eastern side, and then we can slowly move ourselves west. So let's declare war, and we'll go for the Nomad invasion of this area. We've got our three clans underneath us that are going to come with us, so we will send that and go straight for that victory. And let's call to arms our allies. Hopefully they will all come to our aid. I'm pretty sure they will. Let's call all tribes. We can raise personal levies, but it's not a great amount. So there's no point really concerning ourselves with that. Um, we've got our clans, our four clans. Now this is a fair bit that I'm not too sure about on the game, but I'm sure I'll pick it up as we go through this playthrough. And there's also the society, isn't it? We can actually join the Dothraki Raiders. So let's um, try and join that. Belwis of the Dothraki. Okay, so strong Belwis is as part of the Dothraki Riders, to be honest, for some reason. Not Dothraki Raiders, Riders. I said Raiders before. Uh, Dothraki Riders greets at B with a brief nod. Another recruiter to join our ranks. We need to prove yourself, boy, the man says gruffly, folding his arms across his chest. You'd be fighting one of our own. Still interested? I'll gladly fight to prove myself. I'm pretty sure there's going to be no one in the Dothraki Riders that are going to be able to stand up to Drogo. Right, so... Here we go with our 5,000 men. Let's march straight on to this province here and attack those 500 men. This is Vastofrak here, isn't it? Yes, in the red. Okay. Right, so let's start and we'll move our way eastward to try and get this province under our control. Uh, Mance, above beyond the walls, created the title. Okay, yeah, I have made um, some of the characters in Westeros important. Just the Lord Paramount and King Robert for now. Uh, the vassals of the Dothraki now view you with respect. I thought they would anyway, but 
whatever. So we're, we'll go and take this land. Another awesome thing is that we can go and attack Marine and Yunkai and Astaport. And the majority of the time, I'm pretty sure, they offer you tribute instead. So you just come away with tons of gold and prestige. Belwus the Strong and the Dothraki Riders have chosen Ago as my opponent. The young man eyes me up and down when we are introduced. Fresh meat, eh? He offers mockingly before showing an elbow and shoving an elbow into my side, making everyone laugh. Okay, he's one of our courtiers anyway, and he's a trained fighter, so we're going to absolutely destroy him. What's his personal combat skill of 40? Our personal combat skill is 135. Uh, do we not have anything in our treasury? I thought we would have had um, Karl Drogo's special arrow, but never mind. Okay, a sparring match. Uh, you and Ago slowly circle each other, tense and focused. You scan him for any signs of weakness and opening in his defense that you could possibly exploit. One mistake is all he'll get. You see a weak spot, a vulnerability in Ago's defense. It's not much, but it's all you need. I quickly avoided his forceful attacks. I easily break through Ago's guard and move to savagely whack my wooden club into his hand. A wooden club? He lies spooled at my fleet, completely at my mercy. It's all over now. Ago drops his wooden staff and hastily retreats. Yield, I yield, he says. I accept. Back on your feet. The fight is over. Ago lies defeated. You have won. Victory is mine. Awesome. Gain 15 prestige, which we can use to expand our Dothraki horde. How big? Uh, so the population is just... We've got 17,000 out of 21,000. Uh, to the strong Karl Drogo, your wisdom and mercy are legendary, of course. I will honour my obligation and answer your calls to war. Robert Braffin has transferred the vassal contract of Peter Baelish to Robert Aaron. Okay. And everyone has decided to aid us. To the valiant Karl Drogo of the Dothraki, I am told you did not receive a single scratch during your initiation. This is the kind of impressive soldier we would be honoured to have sitting at our table. You are hereby humbly invited to join our ranks. Signed, Belwis. Awesome. Okay, let's carry on our march westward. Uh, eastward, not westward. We'll be going westward once we unite the Dothraki. See, which I don't think will be too difficult. Most of them are quite small. There's some big... Two fairly big um, Dothraki Kalasars over here, but none of them can compare to um, Karl Drogo's at the moment, especially once we uh, pick off these smaller ones in and around us. King Mance of Beyond the Wall has declared King Mance's invasion of Craster's Keep. Okay. And we've got a hell of a lot of Dothraki here, as we can see. Allies that are coming to help us. 5,000 there, 4,000, 2,000. So and 5,000 here, so we've got a hell of a lot of men. Lord Mathis of Golden Road has created the High Lord of the North March. Maybe I shouldn't have made so many important, because now we're going to get a lot of annoying messages that we don't really need to be seeing. But yeah, um, our monthly population growth is 46. Our population going to manpower, minus 18. Monthly population growth, plus 28. Okay. Uh, perfect. Uh, Co Pono of Pono has created the title of Cast. Uh, Kars, Rianash, Jinni. I'm not even going to... I think I'm just going to give up trying to read these things, if I'm honest, because I'm just making a fool of myself. But yeah, let's march, carry on marching eastward. Stannis Baratheon is now known as the Just. How long is it going to take us to get over there? It's a lot of land to move across, isn't it, out here eastward? But yeah, any tips, guys, for playing as a Nomad? I'd really appreciate them. As I said, I've not really played as a nomad much i don't think i've ever played any further east than this either i have played in slaver's bay before but i've i've had a little goes with the dothraki here and there but it's been a long time since i last played as the dothraki and I don't, as i said i don't think i've ever gone any further east than the bone mountains as a starting character i've conquered further than that in other playthroughs uh, your wife daenerys is pregnant with your child as carl you are expected to take her to vast Dothrak, where she will perform the stallion heart ceremony to ensure that your child will be born healthy and strong gather supplies we ride for vast Dothrak. 40 gold and fate smiles upon you my wife daenerys is pregnant um well of course she's pregnant because okay whatever but yes here we go let's go and attack this small unit here and we've got two and a half thousand men coming to join us if you can hear some banging it's my dog's fighting against the game room door for some stupid reason and there we go yeah that's a very very easy victory now let's march straight north to the capital of this area which is just south of ibn okay so ibn do actually own some land um on the main continent new ibn so i don't know if we'll take some of that obviously there's still some of the tall men as well that are living around this area maybe we can finish off the tall men finally and take that land okay so those five thousand men are going to attack what's left of this army but we're not going to worry about that we're just going to attack the capital straight away it's going to be very easy to siege as they're very very poorly defended then again is he going to attack our capital we have got to worry about that actually we should be quite wary of that actually do you know what let's swing around and attack those instead just in case that army 
the other Kalasar to the north from the northern steps haven't got what it takes to finish it off. So we'll go and um, give them some reinforcements and then we can march on to the capital of this Kalasar. You arrive at Vastofrak with Daenerys to watch her perform the Stallion Heart Ceremony, surrounded by the Dosh Kaleen. She is given the fresh heart of a stallion to consume. She seems to be successful at first, but at the last minute she doubles over and vomits up the last of the flesh. At least she made the effort. So we lose some prestige, but we do gain some piety. And I can't see it having too much of a bad omen upon our son. I hope it's a son. Maybe that'll give us a daughter. Who knows? Right, but yes, let's try and give some aid to this Kalasar up here, just north of Vastofrak. Okay, it looks like they are going to win just, but we are going to arrive in time to aid. Eddard Stark has had ice removed from their treasury. Has he died already? No. So why has he had ice removed from his treasurer? He's got a Valyrian steel dagger. Has he given it to Rob early on? Let's have a look. Yes, he has given it Rob. Interesting. Who's Rob married to? Lady Liza of the... What? Oh, for God's sake. The AI is so retarded in this game. Why would they marry Rob to Liza? What the actual fuck? Um, John has gone to the Night's Watch. Sansa not betrothed. Aya not betrothed. Bran and Rickon not betrothed. Is Bran crippled by this point? Yes, he is. Oh my god, Eddard, you absolute retard. This pregnancy has made my wife Daenerys much more talkative and cheerful than usual. She never misses the chance to chat with anybody within earshot. Unfortunately, most scholars agree that a pregnant woman should spend as much time as possible resting in a dark room to avoid giving birth to a sickly child. Since when would the Dothraki care what a scholar says? But yep, she should rest because we want to get the best of what we can for our child. And we can just march on to the northern capital now as that army has been crushed. My Jetak Rakoa tells me that his efforts at praising my name and deeds have been met with great success. A small army of warriors have converged at Rish Tahin, ready to serve me. I just need to make sure they have someone to fight within a year, lest they become troublesome. Splendid. Two people eloped and got married without anyone's consent except their own. Iri and Jogo. And it was a matrimonial marriage for whatever reason um except their marriage i don't think we really care so we've got a thousand 1500 men here let's get them to meet up with the main kalasar get all our men together and march on to that capital we're at 39 percent already so as soon as we get that under siege it's going to be game over really and that's going to give us a hell of a lot more land and a hell of a lot more manpower robert braffin has had fire sword added to their treasury okay there we go, we've got 9,000 men here now, 15,000 now. At the age of 60, your acquaintance Lord Paramount Hoster died after a period of illness. Stein Crowkiller is used at the title Chieftain of Craster's Keep. Okay. Nice to keep an eye on what's going on in Westeros, just the ridiculous stupidity from the AI, such as Rob Stark getting married to Liza Aaron, who's 33 and probably not going to give him any airs. Uh, my shaman, Quizini, tells me that her efforts at increasing religious fear among the people have been met with great success. A small army of zealous have converged at Rish Tahin, ready to serve me. Now I simply... Okay, so we've managed to gain ourselves another 2,000 men, so let's march though Actually, no, let's get them back to our capital, and then we'll march our main Kalasar back down um, momentarily once we take this land. And then we can... Who have we got closest? We could go for Jomo next, or Bahabo. Or we could try and get ourselves some gold and maybe attack the three cities. I might wait until our Kalasar is a little bit bigger, though, before we do do that. Okay, so there's 700 defenders here. We'll just go straight for the assault. We've got more than enough men to attack it. And there we go. Offer peace and force demands. Send. The Carl Drogo war against Carl Rogogo of whatever it's called has ended. Carl Drogo of the Dothraki has won. Now, what can we do with you? We can ransom prison off 250 gold, which he's not going to be able to go with. Um, we'll be merciful. Won this war. Will he? Does he still own this land? No, he doesn't. So he's not really worth much then, is he? We could... Um, we'll just release him from prison. Let him bend to us instead and there we go now we will march our 6,000 men back to our capital and then we will see where we're going to invade next and we've got one title that can be created kingdom of the dothraki create creating this title will give us 400 prestige and cost us zero gold Carl drogo of the dothraki has created the title cast of the dothraki which 
means that we now have enough prestige to buy some more men but we oh, we don't at the minute we don't have enough room for any more at the moment that is going to add some more clans now as well uh, to the commanding warrior Drogo, blessing upon you and your house, we requ request that you honour your obligation and answer this call to arms against Carl Ago of Rahish Quaho and Carl Barbo of Barbo. Um, yeah, we'll accept just to aid you, and you're already at minus 100%, so that was pretty pointless calling us in now, isn't it, really, to be honest? Um, let's have a look. Let's. What was this title called? Vas Arasak. We'll give you that back. Grant landed title of um let's have a look cast of vastofrak cast of no that's what r1 cast of vastofrak cast of the southern step cast of vastofrak cast of that duh, duh, duh. god there's so many titles on your dofrak there's so much land which one is it that we can it's this one here vast arasak can we not give that to him Because I don't want to get too much land. Okay, well, we won't worry about it for now. I can sort most of that out off screen just because it's going to be a lot of messing around to sort these things out. Right, let's bring our men home and then we can go and help out over there. We'll decide where we want to move next. The Northern Step are our allies, so we can't actually go to war with those just yet. But Barbo, we are at war with them anyway, trying to help them out. And Jomo as well. Who else have we got? Is this the one other one that we are helping out with against at the moment? Yes, it is. So we can't actually attack any of them until we've helped out in um, this war. So let's go straight for the Barbo capital. March onto that as quickly as possible to help out. Minus 100% already though, so I don't really see the point. We could declare war on Marine for a raid on Marine, which they um, will normally just offer us a nice lump sum of money which will be very useful. So I think we will do that at some point. I'm surprised that Daenerys hasn't had our child yet. She is in hiding because she's in the late stage of it. So I'm guessing it's not going to be long until she does um, give birth to our child. Okay, where are we? Let's carry on our march westward to help out. Okay, the Carl Barbo War against Carl Joma III of Yahil has ended. Okay, so they've just gained a lot of land by doing that. So I think I know who are next victim is going to be declare war nomad invasion of barbo sen and we've still got two allies even though we just lost one but we're going to want to try and take that now quickly let's ask the other tribes to come and help us out let's call up their aid and we'll go and take that because that's a big land if they ended up taking some more of this it's going to give us actually some fierce competition we don't want that we want to try and take this land as quickly as possible so let's now move our horde westward your ally code drummer the third kavara has been imprisoned okay doesn't really concern me um to the great carl drogo blessing by you and your house of course i'll honor my obligation and answer your calls to war perfect so everyone is aiding us there we go we've got five thousand men from what vas arasak who are going to aid us so we do own it but somebody else owns it okay i'm not really sure i'll sort those things out off screen like i said as it takes a lot of time messing around we don't really want to see me doing all that micromanagement edward stark has attempted to imprison loafer of oak and shield okay interesting okay so we've got ten thousand dothraki here as well as five thousand following us are those six thousand are ally as well yes they are perfect so we'll carry on marching westward you have a new heir now if your character dies you will play as drogo son of drogo strong and quick oh wow perfect now oh, what was the name of daenerys and drogo's son again was it rago i think it was rago wasn't it so okay i'm pretty sure it was rago so we'll go with... Okay, I was almost right. It's got the A and the E the wrong way around. So there we go. Rago. And wow, he is incredibly impressive. Carl Drogo of the Dothraki has fulfilled the ambition to have a son. Perfect. And wow, strong and quick. Perfect. So maybe he will be the stallion in the Mounts of World. We'll go with the struggle focus, of course. We want him to be a great warrior. And straight away... Oh, can we... Can, yes, a Zyna Guardian. Of course, we're going to go with Drogo, of course. So that we can make him into a fine warrior. I can't believe how impressive he is. That is absolutely awesome. Okay. So we'll keep a close eye on how he turns out. We can grant him a kingdom. 
what can we have? No, I'm going to say we haven't got anything to give him. And we need a new ambition as well now. Let's have a look what we've got. Adopt a lifestyle, win the war. Let's just go with win the war for now because it will be an easy one to achieve, hopefully. But I think... Oh, King Robert of the Iron Friend has inherited Castle of the King's Gate from Pandas the Spider. But yes, I think we'll end the first episode here. We've managed to expand expand our Kalasar massively and soon we'll be expanding it even more we've managed to get our son and heir who will hopefully be the stallion that mounts the world thank you all so much for watching as always i really hope you've enjoyed the start of this new series if so please don't forget to like and comment down below and subscribe if you're new here it will really help the channel continue to grow at the amazing rate that it already is i really do appreciate it guys thank you all so much once again and hopefully i'll see you all very soon for my next video